Welcome to the Big Bash opener between us and the Brisbane Heat. Got three games in this uh, particular episode of the rebuild um, of Tasmania slash Hobart. Uh, just to go over some of the results that we've had um, just previously with Tasmania though, you guys witnessed us getting um, dismantled by Tasmania. Um, didn't get much better against South Australia. They posted 354. Uh, Rogers 4 for 70. Rickman 3 for 92. Uh, Merrin with a big 160. Posted 379. I thought we were in the game. Uh, Wilson 163. Continuing to have a good season. Pavolsky uh, 84. Uh, Meany 4 for 84. Um, pick of the bowl was there. Um, 309 for 8 they posted. So they batted well again. Merrin with another big score of 100. Uh, Delaney, Delaney, uh, 3 for 39, and Rogers, 2 for 69. I'm a bit gutted he's, this guy's out for um, a few weeks, uh, but he's playing for Adelaide, I suppose, so we're not going to um, miss him too much. And we're all out for a disappointing 147 in response. Uh, Rooney, 62, um, Pukowski, uh, 47, Meany again with four wickets, Winter with three, and Smith with two. So that's... Looking pretty disappointing season, but we did get a mild boosting victory. 252 out, um, we got Western Australia. Uh, Short and Marsh, um, the bulk of their runs. Uh, Rickman, 4 for 64. He's having a good season with the ball, Rickman. Uh, Corey and Delaney um, in the wicket. So the bowling's coming along quite nicely. 316. Uh, Wilson, 69. And Delaney, uh, 89. Contributed quite well. 3 for, for um, Green and Agar. They posted 228, Mitchell Marsh, 88 not out, uh, Corey 3 and Rogers 3, uh, Khan 2, and, and Delaney bowled well again, and we chased it down fairly easy, 50s to Rooney and Spence, and Wilson and Pukowski um, for not out, to get us a moral boost um, for the rest of the season there when we get back there, but um, three games today, uh, obviously um, we want to start well, we'll talk about some of the people we've signed too, we've Bought in um, the experience of Glenn Maxwell. Uh, he's in reasonable touch as well, and that's good to see. Um, we've got Beckett, of course, in the second season. We signed Andy Collin from New South Wales as well. 100 10 50s, 200s, and 150 in the one day format. Good signing. Archer and Stark. I hope we got Stark for the majority of the season. Flint, Meredith, and Adam will be our attack. Other signings, didn't really get anything else, uh, really. So that's our team. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's play reasonably good. I'm surprised Virat Kohli's still playing in this league. I thought he would have been playing regularly for India. Obviously, India haven't had too much um, around the big bash around this time. So, Joffre Archer gets the wicket of uh, Max Bryant. Excellent. Stark has got the wicket of Whiteman. Two wickets inside the first. Um, a lot of overs. Flint um, amongst the wickets as well. It's good to see Flint been named in the Australian squad. He hasn't played a game yet, but he is showing capabilities of being at that level. We're going to get Adam into the attack. See if he can get um, any wickets. And he's going to get the key wicket of Virat Kohli here. So, well bowled. Meredith, wee bit expensive. Um, we're going to bring Glenn Maxwell in. He can bowl some really handy um, off spin. Adam, another um, another wicket. Okay, he's got the wicket. Donald this time out for 38. He was going good guns as well. I've got to bring Flint back, and we've got to bring our aces back now, just to try and rattle them. We've got Archer and Stokes in our lineup. Like we should be um, a team that can rip through teams. Uh, Stark was a bit expensive there. Archer sort of holding his own. We'll bring Meredith in for an over. They post 170 for 5. Here's Lytton Coates. Got a wee bit of weigh on us on the end there. And um, that's a fair chase um, for the team. So McDermott and Spence are opening the um, batting today. We're going to give Spence the opportunity to get his spot um, there. And he's gone for a duck. Not the best of starts. Maxwell win. Hopefully Maxwell continues his um, state form. Very capable cricketer. He's 
been he would have been out of that noble too. Up the rate now. Oh, he's gone for twenty or fifteen Maxwell. Just a wee a wee start there. Not kicking on. Dermot, massive shot for six. Captain this season, uh, Ben McDermott. Uh, been a really reasonably good servant for the um, club over the um, over the years. He's been solid enough. So we've got the two rookie sort of batsmen, and now Beckett and uh, Colin on uh, debut. Doing pretty well to chase this, I'd say. Colin gone for two. We've got um, the Englishman back, Joe Clark. Who really performed okay in this position. Let's see if he does it um, here. I want to see his form. I didn't really check his form um, for a while. So he's obviously played a campaign for him. Um, he's got two hundreds and one fifty. This man can bat. He certainly, I think, will be good in this position. Or does need Joffre Archer to support him here? We shot four runs, 19 off 10 deliveries. 104 for five. But yeah, he's really suited to the position he's at. I'm happy with the two um, overseas players we've got in our team. 10 and over required. Can we get a magnificent cameo from someone? He's gone for 30 off 19. 117 for six. Stark can hit the ball to all parts. Getting on a fair age, Mitchell Stark, 32 years of age. He's played a lot of uh, test cricket this season. He's got decent, decent ish stats uh, still. Archer's got away with the boundary there. Lovely shot. Three fours now off the over. And that will be a six. 26 required off four um, overs is certainly gettable. Lovely shot from Mitchell Stark. It's gone for six. The guy's dived into the um, bound the fence. We shot again. This is brilliant batting. Um, All time record between Stark and Archer. Who would have thought these guys would have got a partnership going? I was just thinking about um, losing this game and. Um, Archer and Stark have said no, and Clark, and they've contributed to a win. So that's a good start for the season for the guys. Uh, now we'll play the Melbourne Stars, um, see if we can back that up. So I'm going to bring Pukowski in. Um, he's got the experience. I'm just going to slowly integrate some players. Coles, he yeah, doesn't really offer much. Probably shouldn't have signed him for three years. Uh, fielding um, up-and-coming player. I'm going to give him the game. Potentially over Meredith. Who concedes nine per over. We want guys a bit more economical. With what we're trying to achieve. Uh, one thing I have to say. Um, we really struggled to sign um, 18 um, players for Hobart this season. We have guys that are asking for a lot of salary. Um, yeah, we've got... Rectify that a little bit. Um, got the wicket, Archer. Can you get the wicket of uh, Zangu? Fielding into the attack. It's the wicket of Hanscom. And you'll get the wicket of Kumar as well. Oh, we get the run out of Kumar. Nice. Flint into the attack. Uh, reasonably expensive. We'll bring Adam in. Adam is going to have to bowl um, quite a bit in this campaign because we need we need to get an option of spin. I'm going to get um, Maxwell. Going for a couple overs as well. And um, one person I got rid of, uh, Darcy Short. No, you don't see him there. Freed up a bit of salary. I've moved Darcy Short on. He didn't perform last season. I, I don't promote really guys that um, do that for us. Uh, he was a good servant. Uh, he played well for th two and a bit seasons and just didn't quite deliver in the third. So we've moved him on. I posted 186 for three. Uh, Zangu, Benjamin Zangu, he's a good cricketer. Very, very good cricketer. Maddinson, um, that's a tough score to get. 
it's certainly achievable for us to get. Let me get going here. That's the key. Spence, I want him to, to step up a little bit this season and prove he belongs at uh, the big bash level. Maxwell's gone for four. Is the Maxwell signing kind of backfire? One for two now. Getting into his work. Uh, Spence needs to pick up his run rate a wee bit as well. 146 at 11.2. It's pretty steep uh, now. Oh, how is that not missed the stumps? Beats me. That is a good strike. Good clean strike. We need a couple big overs here. We've got to take on these spinners and get. 15 to 16 and over for a while. It's gone for 21 spins off 23 deliveries. Chewed up too many deliveries. And now it's a lot of pressure on our middle to lower water. This Hobart team, it's just been a bit off colour the last, um, well, ever since we've taken over, it just hasn't completely put the performances together. Like, we've had a decent amount of wins for the season, been one or two wins outside the playoffs. Can we, can we get there this season? I believe we've got enough, um, talent there. And if Mitchell Stark's available for the majority of the campaign, he'll probably offer a wee bit with the ball. Koski's gone for six. Brings, uh, Clark to the wicket. I think the key is really trying to take apart their um, spinner, their spinners. They've got a couple of spinners here. Smash, lovely sweep, four runs. That's three consecutive boundaries in a row. Can he make it four, Beckett? Just ease him the burden. That's a pretty silly run. And he's run himself out for 41 when he was looking good. Oh, the, the poor batting. Really disappointed in that. That was just why you hit, you done the damage in the over, and you're gone for a stupid run. Now we're just sort of um, scrambling. Get back into this game. 95 for five after 12. Maybe looking for respectability again. An easy catch. Clark out for five. Stark and um, Archer together. They put on a partnership last game. Can they do it again? But yeah, just just this performance here. We just weren't clinical enough with the ball, and we only took three wickets. Well, if you only take three wickets in twenty overs in one of these games, you, you're going to be you're going to be steering there the bear of at least one eighty on the majority of the case occasions you play 13 off 9 uh, Mitchell Stark uh, Joffre Archer can he get some fireworks going at the very least we're not going to win this game completely out of it just need um, to get some respectability Joffre plays and misses 25 off 15 4 overs to bat It's gone. Fielding's in. Just got to see um, what we can do. Like we, I'm really lacking an all-rounder in this team as well. Like Joffre Archer is playing a handy role as as an all-rounder, but we just need that other one in, in the lineup somewhere. Oh, how did that not miss? Uh, just had another four. Lovely couple of shots from Archer. He's going to take the field on there. And he's run himself out. 140 for 9. Off 20 overs. A loss by 46 runs. And... Probably want to win this game. Just get started. So, Beckett and Stark have been selected for the Australian team. So, we're going to have to make a few enforced changes. Well, obviously, I'm going to bring in the young fella. 
bit annoying. Like, as soon as Payne's Australian contract come to an end, he's got three years on his contract in Tasmania. I don't want to terminate it because you don't get as much money to spend on um, players. So we're just going to have to ride that contract out. We're going to bring uh, Meredith um, in for um, Stark. Just looking at the career of Stark for um, the Tasmanian, um, not the Hobart side. 14 games, 22 wickets, an average of 24. It's, it's acceptable. But I want him to be a little bit better than that. I want more value for money there. Of course, Joel Paris is in form, but we can't really pick him. We've got to stick with um, our young sort of bowling attack. Okay, Max what three, of course. Hopefully he can offer something with the bat this game. Um, we've won the toss, and we'll probably elect a bowl first on the surface. Can we get some early wickets? Meredith's got the wicket of Kawaja. Kawaja must be getting on a fair age in this game too now. Like, he's 36, okay. Meredith gets the wicket of Mirren. This is a good spell from Meredith. Four for 17. Um, Archer was a bit expensive. But we opted to try and get those extra wickets. And I'm hoping it pays off. Going to have to bolt on the spinner in. Uh, this, they've still been game enough to attack. And Green is on a very dangerous 34 or 15. I'm desperate for another wicket. And Adam may have just delivered us a key wicket to keep them under 180. 142 for 6. So look at Nielsen for 45. 162 for 7. 162 for 8 off 20 overs. So they got out of a bit of a predicament there. The 240 scores, they continuously attacked, and that is, ended up being a decent score. So, Mr. Spence, uh, let's see if you can get going here. Love to chase this down, get us to a record of uh, two wins from three games. Dermot, three boundaries. He's gone. Just trying to be a bit too greedy there. Just work your singles, man. And no, I think Maxwell was conserving me big time. Maybe banned a little bit too high. Uh, it's a magnificent form too um, for his um, state side. Now it's sort of. This is all falling apart. 24 for 3. Kofsky. Just got to get into his work. Ahmed, is he still playing? Jeez, he must be in his 40s. If, if it's the same guy. Farwood Ahmed. I believe that's his name. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to have a look at... Um, him if he bowls again. So they got uh, Lamahani. Uh, the Nepal bowler. He's a good bowler, actually. Uh, he's delivered all around the world. Just looked at his stats before we started. Uh, yeah. Like, doesn't play too much um, of the other formats, but he... Oh, come on, Clark. Nah, it's a different guy. It's all good. I was going to say... So 60 for 5, it just... A, Average batting display. Like, just one of, them, one of those awkward predicaments um, with the Hobart at the moment. We don't have too much money to um, sort of fork out. I could rip up the um, the co some of the contracts or something and try and sort of rebuild again. But seventy-one for six. It's not. It's simply not good enough. I would. I would like. Too bad I couldn't get Rooney um, into our uh, setup. I didn't sign. I, didn't, I should have signed him season one. I should have backed um, his ability to get better. He would have been really good at the top of the order. It would be nice to drop, say, Ben McDermott down to five or six. Oh, just gone for seven. Eighty-five for seven now. Yeah, it's hard to know. It's, it, like we will get a team, I think, eventually that Hobart will be quite happy with. Just at the moment, just don't have enough um, performers, like men in form. We're sort of men learning their craft at um, the big bash level. 
Let's see, Remain probably too faithful to Clark as well, but I thought Clark batted well enough in the position he was in to sort of just be given another chance in that roll. So roll to 99 for 7. He's batting for a bit of respectability at the moment. But yeah, this, this career mode, uh, just to sum it up, is a lot harder uh, than the English one. I had a lot more success in the English one um, so far. Although I did win the one day cup early um, in season two with um, Tasmania. Due to um, outrageously good batting. So we got to 121 for 8 off 20 overs. Uh, nothing really much of note there. So we've started the uh, season 3, 1 and 2. Uh, you guys will next be here. Um, we'll, you'll probably join us. See what we've got left. We'll probably go for the Adelaide game, the Sydney Rene uh, Sydney uh, Sixers, and the Brisbane Heat. We'll target those three games there. And we'll see you guys again for another episode of uh, the Hobart slash Tasmania Rebuild.